Hi guys, uh, I'm going to do a, a quick review of these new boots I've got. I bought these, pay for them, they've not been given me, a, you know, not sponsored or anything like that. I bought these from Screwfix and uh, these are called the Ambler Safety Working Boots or Tough Working Combat Boots or Comfort Boots. The, the, that's the box they come in, it's just a, a cardboard box and you get with it uh, pallet tissue paper and uh, what else you get? Well you get a, a set of instructions to tell you how to wear a pair of boots and you also get these these little fancy clip with a bead ring on or tat should save the money just put the boots in a box and I'm done with it anyway I'll put this box down here so these boots I've been wearing them for a day uh, they are leather leather and uh, looks like Cordura type material uppers uh, man-made inners and a tongue the tongue comes complete right the way across it's uh, it's a velvet type of feel to it, sponge and padded, and, uh, and the same on the inside. The inside, I don't know whether you'll pick that up, is the same, and that's the chemically resistant sole. Good good grip and cleats on it, and uh, yeah, leather. It's also lightweight. Now, the reason why these are lightweight is because, in actual fact, they're not steel toe cap. They are composite toe cap boots. So you're not clumping around like the old lead shoes of the divers years ago. Uh, but yeah, I've had them on all day and they've been a comfortable boot. Uh, you know, I, I, I laced them up. They always come laced inside it's bloody daft the way they lace them up i think just for show but i uh, relaced them and uh i wore them for a day to see exactly you know whether they they were they were fit because sometimes what you find with shoes and boots uh the 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 stitching on the inside you know all, all these little parts can dig into you so you need to, it's, I think, myself personally, I think it's important when you take uh, a shoe or a boot for the first time to, to, to take care, to carefully put the boot on. Uh, I mean, obviously, if you go into a shoe shop and you, uh, and you try the shoes or boots on, then that's okay. But these were bought online, and uh, this being 2021, March 2021, uh, we're still in the COVID, so everything's bought online. In a road. So, you know, it's important to make sure that everything sits snugly round your, your ankle and your foot because it's, it's vitally important that, that footwear is, uh, is looked after and, and carefully worn. Sounds a bit daft, but believe you me, uh, anybody in the, the forces will tell you, you know, your boots, they've got to they've got to feel like slippers, you know, and it's the same if you're in a working environment. You want to be able to feel a match stock underneath these things, uh, and you also want to feel like you're walking around a pair of slippers. But you need you need the safety, and that's what these give. Uh, I'm not using them for work. I'll, I'll probably work in them, but I'm not using them specifically for a heavy job. But what I've got these for. Is for riding my scooter because uh, I wanted a pair of boots that had good ankle protection good leg protection and were tough and uh, if touch wood I hope I don't but if I do come up I did come off the scooter uh, then uh, I don't want to damage myself so it's all about wearing the right protective clothing so I took the laces out of these for a reason. And the reason is these are the laces. You get uh, you get the laces, which are 
like a, a nylon uh, I don't know whether you'll be able to pick that up but there are nylon uh, uh, we've got semi a little bit of stretch in them but they're like a, a paracord type of uh, lace heavy duty but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do something that I like to do with all my shoes and boots when I get them because when you first get them obviously they look nice and smooth and shiny but they're not uh, they're not they're not worn in they're not soft and so what I like to do is I like to put some natural sports dubbing and rub some of this stuff into it to uh, just to to feed the leather to soften the leather to to help it to to to, to wear in so what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna do the old-fashioned thing of spreading out the, the old newspaper because you always do this when I was a kid me my father taught me how to pull up a pair of shoes and uh, he said the first thing you do is you put newspaper down and he said to me it's not for for us it's not for me or you it's for your mother because if she catches you putting blacking on the carpet you'll get a crack on a bleeding ear hole so always put your newspaper down and then there's no earache now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a latex glove now back in the day we never had latex gloves all we had was your fingers and an old cloth but uh, the latex helps to stop any dyes or anything get through now, it is an interesting thing a lot of people don't know I mean these young kids today they, they buy the, the trainers the pumps and uh, and they don't actually polish them I mean they, they throw them in the in the, the washing machine or they just wipe them or they just wear them and then throw them away you know it's a throwaway society they don't look after anything really but uh, for any of you young ones out there that want to know how to polish a pair of shoes this is how you do it I mean now you get your, your glove and then you get a cloth you get a suitable cloth any rag will do and what you do is this you fold it like that and then you put two fingers in and then you twist around there like that and grip that with the other two so when you get your your polish or your dubbing in this case you get it onto the cloth dip it in get the dubbing in and then what you do is you put your hand in the in the boot and then you start to circle and circle and circle and you just keep doing this and rubbing in in this case the dubbing and what this is going to do it's going to feed the leather it's going to make the leather supple it's going to soften it up it's this this is like a it's like a a, a fat a grease uh, which you're putting onto the leather and what you're doing is just rubbing it in in circles rubbing it down into the joints and into the the stitching and everything to make these boots nice nice and supple now there's going to be excess dubbing that's going to get on the edges of the leather on all these parts here so all these these stitches here there's going to be excess in there don't worry about that just keep rubbing it in because what happens eventually is your cloth gets dry now at this stage in the game it doesn't really matter because what you're going to be doing is dipping in and putting it onto the leather and dipping in and putting it onto the leather but eventually when it does dry up you'll get that excess out with the cloth when the cloth is dry and you'll just keep rubbing that back in now what I'm gonna do 
is I'm going to carry on rubbing this in because I'm sure you don't want to be sitting watching me rubbing for half an hour or so dubbing in my boots and so I'll come back to you when I've actually uh, when I've actually done both of the boots so I'm back with you and I've uh, I've rubbed all the dubbing in the dubbing I'm using at the moment is uh, is this stuff it's not really a pick oh, cherry blossom it's cherry blossom sports dubbing neutral for smooth leathers uh, that's what it looks like whether you'll, you'll see that it's a uh, like it looks like grease for, for if anything but uh, I've rubbed both the boots in now and uh, everything's soaked soaked in this dubbing and uh, what I'll do now is I'm gonna leave these boots to soak now there's a trick you can do which is to put put both of the uh, both of the boots in a plastic carrier bag. Now in the case of these big daisy roots, I'm going to have to put them in uh, a carrier bag each, I think. But you yeah, put them in a carrier bag and leave them to sweat inside. Let this, you know, because you don't want it to evaporate quick. You want it to soak into the leather, not evaporate away from the leather. So that's what I'm going to do. And then you just give them a quick wipe over or a scuff over. You can leave them as is. Uh, there's no difference. There's nothing to the, the leather. It's, it's just going to feed that leather. And these will soften up. And I'll do this a few times. Probably I've done it today. I bought the boots this morning. And uh, so I've worn them all day and uh, I've now dubbing them up and I'll probably do this probably once a week for a month and wear them. I'm going to wear and intend to wear these every day to work in the, the, the inner sleeve, if you like, the inner sock, get that used to my foot shape and get the boots tied nice and tight and used to my foot shape and get used and get the the suppleness of the leather you know that the, the way that the the boots work is that uh, inside here they've got the, the composite toe and they've also got a plate a composite plate running down the bottom uh, that's to stop nails going through and that kind of thing they're a great boot they cost 39.99 from screw fix uh, I'm getting nothing for this <laughs> uh, they're not sending me a free pair of boots though they can if they want uh, but yeah, thirty nine ninety nine, forty quid for a pair of Daisy Roots that will last you. You know, you should get a good, a good year out of them, and probably if you look after them, longer. the The main thing that determines the the lifespan of a pair of boots is the sole, because if the 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 grip of the sole wears away, then they become dangerous it becomes slippy and that's not what you want you don't you, you need good grip uh you know in in all surfaces uh sometimes it's i've looked after boots in the past i've had I, i've had lots of boots mainly dot martins uh but i decided to go for a for a combat style boot this time uh for a change from a pair of dot martins uh and the thing is with the dot martins I tend to find that I look after the, the leather that well that the upper is still in pristine condition but the soles have gone and you can have them resold. Uh, me, me cousin's a, 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 a cobbler on Ashton Market in Tameside. Uh, Alfie his name is, he's been there for 40 years and uh, he's a great cobbler, nothing he can't do. 
and he, he cuts keys and everything and if you ever need anything you're in Ashton go see Alfie he'll sort you out uh, but uh, yeah but he, he can sold them but the thing is by the time you finish sold them you think to yourself well you know you can buy a new pair of boots so you've got to play it like that you know these these i've got i've got leather suit uh, leather shoes that uh a well bespoke made leather shoes with leather soles and i have him sole them on a regular basis because you know you you buy a pair of leather shoes like i've got uh brogues and that kind of thing and uh, these are leather uppers with leather soles and i have a rubber uh, soul and heel put on them and I've had them 20 30 years and they'll last another 20 30 years because I looked after and that's a secret in my book the secret is if you get something and you look after it the longer you have it the less it's cost you so if you keep it if it cost you 30 quid and you keep them 30 years it's a pound a year you should work that one out with everything. But anyway, that's just my way. So, uh, that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to find a couple of carrier bags, stick these in, seal it up, I'll let them sweat overnight, and then in the morning I'll lace them back up. And uh, what I might do is come back to you after a month and, uh, and, and just uh, do a quick video on wearing them after a month as, a, as a, an additional review. But uh, if you like... If you like my videos and you've got any comments, please comment down below. And uh, also, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, on this channel, I do bits and pieces like this. And also, I do uh, runs on my scooter I've started doing. And uh, also, my music. I, uh, I write my own music. And uh, I play, I play uh, guitar and banjo and uh, play harmonica. Uh, and uh, you can you can listen to some of the songs there if you like them. Share them, give them a like, and uh, and you can share this if you would. And as I say, please subscribe. So until then, take care, and I'll see you soon.